Hello, I'm Sergeant Dave Minert from the Madison Police Department with the Criminal Intelligence Section. On behalf of the Madison Police Department and our partner in law enforcement agencies within Dane County to include Belleville, Cottage Grove, DeForest, Maple Bluff, McFarland, Shorewood Hills, Stoughton, the town of Madison, Wanakee. I'm excited to present a new crime mapping tool that will assist you to stay more informed about crime in your area. Within this tool, you'll have the ability to analyze crime data, receive alerts pertaining to crime in your area, as well as several other options, some of which include signing up for neighborhood watch alerts and submitting anonymous tips. You can access this tool by going online to www.communitycrimemap.com or accessing our Madison Police Department website and clicking on the Community Crime Map link. Madison Police Officer Julie Helbach produced a instructional video on how to use Community Crime Map, which I will show you next. Hope you find this technology useful and informative. Thank you. Guys, go on to your computer and you can either find the link on the City of Madison Police Department webpage or you can type in www.communitycrimemap.com. Now you can either put that in the address line or if you decide to do a Bing or Google search, it will come to a page and it will give you an option to pick LexisNexis Community Crime Map and that's the same thing. So the way you use this is you put in an address. I'm going to use 825 Hughes Place. Uh, which is the South District. Now remember to put Madison, Wisconsin in because if you don't you might end up somewhere else in the United States. So this little circle here is your destination. That's the address that you put in. Now there's a couple different things you can do. There's a buffer that you can put on so it allows you to search between 500 feet and 5 miles of your destination or the address that you put in. And what that does for you is you can click this little button It says only display events within this buffer and it will only show you the things that are in your range. Now for this presentation I'm not going to use that but it is kind of a nifty little tool. Now go down to your date range and I'm going to do quick date which allows me to select anything from yesterday to one year. I'm going to put two weeks in because I don't want it to get too cluttered but you can literally put any um, any uh, dates in there that you want. And you can also use this slider so that you can narrow dates down if you want to. It's kind of a nifty little thing. But for this I'm going to keep it on two weeks. Alright, so next is the events. This is the big one. This is what these guys are out here. So the events are all these different icons and they correlate to the crimes on the left hand side. So right now, uh, I'm going to take arson off, but I'm going to just select a few. So if you see, the house corresponds to residential burglary and the car to motor vehicle theft and so on and so forth. So if I click on here, I'm going to get the general information. This one, particular one is for Fitchburg. Now let's find a, a Madison one here. And if this happens to you, what you do is you go over to the right and you grab a piece of the uh, screen here and you pull down because if you scroll up it's just going to continue to scroll and you'll never get to what you want. So this will give you the case number and where it happened, when it happened. Now let's say you want to submit an on anonymous tip. Just click right there, put whatever information you want to in and boom, click submit tip and it's on its way. All right. Now I'm going to put everything on just to kind of show you something here. So I'm going to do a select all and it's going to populate everything. Now if you see a number, it means that there's more than two cases at that particular area. And you can just kind of scroll through them. Now let's go to the offenders tab and I'm going to click on that and all these purple people will show up. If you click on one of them it gives you the person's information where they live. Now I'm going to click that off. I'm also going to go back up to my events here and only select a couple things for this next part. So I'm going to do the motor vehicle theft and my burglary and robbery. Now we'll go down to the analytical layers and this shows a density map and it just shows you where the hot spots are. So these are where most of our crimes have been happening. I'll zoom out a little bit here. So 
So it just kind of shows you where the hot spots are and the things are happening. Now I'll show you agency layers and I'll zoom out just a little bit more. And this basically just gives you an outline of the districts. I'll just show you the Madison Police Districts. It'll show you what our area is and it'll even show you the sectors if you want to look at the sectors. Now if I were to zoom out a little bit more, keep an eye on the left hand side there. The more you zoom out, the more data you get obviously. So we just added a few more police departments there and you can click on any of these and also see what their geographical area is. So we have Stoughton, Town of Madison, Marshall, Cottage Grove, Maple Bluff, McFarland, Oregon, Shorewood, and Wanakee. All right, now we're going to go up to satellite. And basically it's just like a, a Google Maps. It's just a satellite view and you can just see like the bird's eye view of it. Okay, now we're going to go to data grid. The data grid is everything that's on the map, but it's just more in an Excel spreadsheet type of thing, so it'll be easier to read. And with these, you can, you know, move the columns around, um, you can assort them, you can put a filter on, you can do a lot of different things in there. Analytics just gives you some pretty cool little charts here. If you need to print something out for, say, uh, a meeting or something like that, just kind of gives you a nice little visual. And metadata. So this is all of the um, departments that we're looking at in our map view right now. So notice there's only three of them here. If I were to go back to my map view and zoom out a couple times, this will change dramatically and it'll show you what all of the what all of these uh, departments submit, what kind of call types they submit. So as you see, there's a few more of them there. Now, if you don't want to come into this every day, but you still want to keep updated, you can go up to sign me up for crime alerts, put all your information here and sign up. Now, don't worry, it's really, really easy to cancel out of this if this is something that you don't want to keep. Every single email has a little tab at the bottom that you click on it and it will cancel the emails for you. But it's a pretty cool thing to stay updated with what's going on. And that is it. I hope you find the tool useful and informative and thank you for watching our video.